changes the toss needs in 2021. What's going on, Saviors? GH here. This is the second time I'm gonna be doing this kind of video. And if you're here way back in December 2019, you probably saw the video titled Changes the Toss Needs in 2020. And you know what? Of all the things that I prayed to happen, only one came true. <laughs> and it's the pets should not take a character's lot. Other than that, it's all wishful thinking. Anyway, let's do another wishful thinking video. <laughs> that said, let's do this. Before we start, if you're interested in the changes that TOS needs in 2020 that I made in December 2019, there's a link in the description. Go watch it for the lols. Okay, let's start. The first that I'm going to suggest to IMC is they should make updates or future content doable by everyone. Because right now, if you're not a whale or a veteran that has been doing this for a long time, Chances are, you can't do the vital endgame content that is needed to progress in the game in a meaningful way. I'm suggesting this because the majority of people that played the game this year subscribed to me, watched, chatted, quitted because the endgame content is just beyond them. This is a common occurrence and at times, even me, I'm kinda getting tired because Getting a complete whale party is not that worth it anymore and I'm always hoping that an arc stone will drop this week. It's been a month or two since I last held an arc stone and I need a lot. And that brings us to the next suggestion and it's make arc stones more available. I know it will be more available in the future but they need to do it sooner because time is of the essence. Anyway, maybe offer an untradeable arc stone in the mercenary bad shop that can only be used to make untradeable endgame gear so that it can't be exploited by multi-clienters that IMC worked so hard fighting throughout 2020. You need to do something IMC cause you're effectively shooing away the majority of players that make up your game. It needs to be done soon cause the living room is burning. <laughs> IMC, it's time to put it off and renovate. And here is another reoccurring suggestion that I keep on saying every year and it's make it easier to change classes in the game. Cause does it really make you that much money restricting class changing? I guess no right? So why not make changing classes easier like on a whim? Like for example now you're a blossomed up barb and tomorrow or now you want to be a dragoon lancer hoplite. Why not make it easier for everyone to change? It's gonna fix a problem you didn't need to have. A lot of MMOs offer this. Why not in TOS? It will be fun, I can guarantee you. Unless people quitting cause they messed up so many times. Next change that TOS needs in 2021 is they should introduce another party system in the game. I don't know how they're gonna do it but they gotta do something. Because right now, it's the traditional looking for an overpowered player for endgame content. And if you're not overpowered, don't join because we will kick you. <laughs> they need to lessen that because it creates this unwanted animosity between players that shouldn't be in the game in the first place. We're playing the game for fun and meet new friends, hang out, create memories. Not get kicked by a random player because you're not a whale. I know they're working on a queuing system for the game that we will get soon, trademark, <laughs> let's just say first half of 2021. But still, we need to get everyone playing together, not kicking a new player cause he's not a whale. That is just absurd. Anyway, another thing that they should change is the limited time event items like those 14 days tome, 14 days voucher. IMC, if you wanna give us items, don't put time limit on it. Give us time to decide or make a situation for ourselves that requires the use of the said item. Point is, remove the time limit. If you wanna give us something, just give it. That way, it will have more value to us. Last thing that I want IMC to do is to be more generous to us and stop giving us trash. Make the events more worth it cause your current competing games are very generous. They're literally giving away the gacha currency. Yeah, I'm talking about Genshin Impact. Look at that game. They're giving away the gacha currency. Why can't IMC do that? Can't you give us free gacha attempts built into the game? What do you guys think? 
Do you have anything in your mind that IMC needs to do in 2020 to make the game great in 2021? Please, ladies and gentlemen, share your thoughts in the comments. That's it guys, let's hope for a better Tree of Saber experience in 2021. And this is Gaming Oracle. See you the next one.